Well, praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. The Lord. Glory to God. Well, we're excited to be back with you once more again here at uh, Dominion Life Worship Center and Faith in Christ Network on our Wednesday night uh, teaching uh, series, amen, about the mind of Christ. So we want to just encourage you to just uh, uh, believe God, amen, that uh, God wants you to have the mind of Christ. And we're going to get into the scriptures to help you to get that established in your understanding. I want to add, encourage you, would you please uh, hit the subscribe, hit the comments, hit the share, and the like button. We very much appreciate if you would do that, amen. Um, so uh, we're going to get ready. We're going to pray, and then we're going to just get ready to go into to this evening's uh, teaching. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless God. Father, we thank you right now that in the name of Jesus, yes, yes, there's no weapon formed against us having the mind of Christ that will prosper. We thank you, Father God, that we trust you, that your word, Father God, will become a reality to us, Father God, and it will impact every area of our lives, yes, yes. our attitudes, yes. our way of thinking, our way of living, yes. uh, making decisions, Father God. Uh, we just thank you for it right now. We, we prepare ourselves to make godly decisions yes. governed by the mind of Christ. In Jesus' name, Jesus amen. Name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Bless amen. God. All right, let's get into it this evening. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to be uh, talking with you to, to in this uh, se segment of, of teaching. We're going to be dealing with uh, uh, Philippians, the second chapter, and we're going to be looking at the first through the sixth verse in this teaching, but we're just going to take two verses at a time in each one of the teaching. Uh, so we're going to look at verses one and two in this uh, evening's uh, teaching of having the mind of Christ, or the mind of Christ. Amen? All right. Uh, we're going to uh, be reading from the uh, Second Philippians, the first through the sixth verse from the Amplified Version of the Bible. We're going to be only uh, addressing verses one and two uh, today. Amen. All right. Do you want to start, start with that? Now? Yes, yes. The Word of God says, therefore, mm -hmm. if there is any encouragement mm -hmm. and comfort in Christ, mm. as there certainly is in abundance. Mm. Amen. That's good. If there is any consolation mm -hmm. of love. Yes. If there is any fellowship. Mm that we share in the spirit. In the spirit. If there is any great depth of affection and compassion. Mm, glory to God. Now, this is the Apostle Paul, and he's writing to us, and he's really telling us about the benefits, giving us some the benefits, uh, laying out the benefits of uh, uh, having the mind of Christ. Uh, the mind of Christ, uh, it gives born-again believers access to the abundance of encouragement, comfort, Consolation, yes. fellowship, great depths of affection and compassion. Amen. And you can find all that in, uh, in, that, in that first verse that Paul is addressing to the church of Philippians. And uh, this is a uh, church, Philippians is a church that Paul really labored uh, a lot uh, over uh, into uh, uh, for their uh, spiritual maturity and growth. And he really wanted them to really get an understanding. And I believe this is for every church. Through all this. Yes. Every church has to, has to determine that they're going to operate by the mind of Christ. They're going to let the mind of Christ govern the church body and, and each member uh, must be governed by the mind of Christ. Yes, yes, so, because that's that's unity. Yes, yes. Unity that's and it. power is released in unity. That's it. And I believe, sweetheart, that that, that, that God wants us to to believe and trust Him. That that every born again believer, every member of the body of Christ, you can expect to um, be to allow the mind of Christ to to give you encouragement. Yes, yes. To comfort you. Yes. Uh, consolation to give you consolation and to keep you in right fellowship yes. uh, with God and with uh, one another. Amen, amen. Because we're living in a time where encouragement mm -hmm. is, 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 is a necessity. necessity. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's a necessity mm -hmm. almost yeah. every day because there's, there's so much uh, coming, coming against, against uh, the yeah. world. Right, right. And, and as believers, we are in the world, yes. so yes, it's, it's coming against us. So there's, there's a, we, we need encouragement, That's but it. not the superficial encouragement. No, no, we no, need no. the supernatural Natural encouragement, encouragement. that only it. comes from the mind of That's Christ. It. That's it. That's so good. That, uh, it. Not only for ourselves, but uh, so that we can share that share. encouragement That's with others. Others. Share it with others, amen. Because uh, the, uh, people are looking to be encouraged. Yes, they really they are. are. They, yes, they're they searching are. out for things to be encouraged. Yes, now, sometimes uh, when you're not born again and you don't know Christ, you may seek out the wrong encouragement for the wrong thing. But uh, once you get born again, uh, 
your, your deepest desire is to be encouraged by God's word yes, and yes. God's spirit. Yes, He's yes. gonna. It, this is a. This is an. This is an absolute must that we must be determined that we're gonna be encouraged by God's word yes. and God's spirit. Amen. So this is what you wanna uh, be, expect and and. And God's word and his spirit will encourage us. Absolutely. Yeah, they, Absolutely. That you, you can never go to God's word and his spirit and ever become disappointed. It just won't happen. So this is what you really want to uh, look, look to. And, and, and now he's going to give this to us in abundance. Yes, yes. It's abundance. It's Overflow. Gonna, that's it. it it'll, we'll Above never, and that's beyond. It. It'll Amen. Never, you can never exhaust it. Amen. Uh, God will never become weary at you coming to him uh, our tr coming to him and trusting him for encouragement, no. for no. Uh, comfort, for cons consolation, for fellowship, and for great depths of affection and compassion. Amen. I great. believe it brings him great joy it does. When we, it does. as his children, children come to him. That's right. It does. Just it, like in the natural, it, right. it brings us great joy, joy. when That's our children right. come to us for encouragement. That's right. That means that they trust us. Right. That's it. That's it. And they, they are, yeah, they trust uh, that, that when they come to to us that we won't disappoint them that's or turn right, them that's away. That's right. That's right. We won't. We won't. Uh, uh, we won't uh, rebuke them for that's coming. That's right. Right. No. Uh, no. No. Uh, no. Uh, we won't have a judgmental uh, attitude, attitude no, towards them. No. We will welcome them right. with love right. and right. kindness. Right. Right. That's it. And this is the thing. Also, uh, you have to understand that correction comes along with that. Yeah. Uh, he has to. If, some, if we're if we've allowed ourselves if we've allowed ourselves to get out of alignment. Uh, with trusting God, with depending upon Him, with with, with uh, acknowledge Him completely, He'll correct us in yes. that area. Yes. So, because um, He understands that those things, not coming to Him for comfort, not coming to Him for encouragement, for strength, um, it, it 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 works against us. Yes. So yes. God wants us to always be mindful of coming yes. to Him. And I just want to uh, mm -hmm. elaborate on that yeah, correction. Sure. Correction is uh, uh, correction is, is 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 important because yes. what father would not correct that's their right. child? That's right. Because correction uh, brings a person into uh, yeah. it brings us first of all into obedience with right. the word of right. God. That's right. And obedience with the word of God will always release the that's blessings right. of God. Of it, it, so, it will. So He wants us blessed. That, Yes, he, he wants, does. Us, he blessed. wants so, us blessed. So uh, correction, correction itself is a blessing. Blessing it is. It's a blessing. Yeah, when you just come with the right attitude and right understanding that I'm coming to my father and my father is going to lovingly correct me. That's right. He's going to lovingly correct me. He's not going to scorn me, scorn me uh, tell me, you no good, you this and this. beat me down. No, no, he's not. Mm -hmm. And, he, and he's not going. He's not going to even bring up uh, once we ask him to forgive him. Uh, forgive him of. He's not going to bring up that that past, that sin that we committed or whatever we no. we got involved in. Amen? Amen. All right. Now let's look at uh, 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 scripture number two in Philippians the uh, first chapter. Now this is the second verse. Now we're going to deal with two verses uh, each time in this from in, in Philippians the uh, second chapter and the one we're going to be reading from the first to the sixth verse. We're going to be Dealing with two in each one of these two verses, in each one of these teachings. Amen. All right. Verse number two says, make my joy complete. Make my joy complete. Now, this is Paul is, is, uh, is um, encouraging them and consoling them and uh, instructing them to make my joy complete by being of the same mind. Yes, yes. Having the same love toward one another. Amen. Knit together in Yes. In spirit, yes. knit together in spirit, intent on one purpose, intent on one purpose, and living a life that reflects your faith and spreads the gospel, Amen. the good news regarding salvation through faith in Christ. Amen. 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 So, uh, so this is where God really wants us to really uh, adhere to what Paul is speaking to us. I really believe that, that, that the Holy Spirit gave this to Paul yes. to give to the church. Yes, yes. Because yes. he, he, he and, and this is, once you commit yourself to have a heart for the church, God will give you uh, his word to uh, speak to the church. Mm -hmm. Because the word of God is, is the only thing that's going to keep the church in carriage. The word of God. Amen. 
I like what uh, Paul said. Uh, 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 Minister Reggie, can you bring that scripture back up? He said, make my joy complete by being of the same mind. mind right. and, I, and I believe that that, uh, that that is the same joy that the Father right, has and, right. and our Lord and Savior has right. when, as, when we as the body of Christ, when we uh, operate with the same mind. Same mind. And uh, before yeah. he returns, that's how the church is going to be operating. That's right. That's the right. church is going to be operating in one faith. One faith. Come one on. spirit. One spirit. That's and it. One Lord. That's it. That's, that's it. it. It's going to be a spirit of that's unity it. operating that's in it. the and church. One and one baptism. And one baptism. That's so, right. Yeah, this is, and this is what we need to understand. God, I really believe that Paul is getting a revelation from God that God deepest desire is to call us into oneness. Yes, yes. To call us into oneness. Yes. One fellowship. You know, we get, we, we go, we, the church has one and only source of consolation Amen. and encouragement. Amen. Yes, yes. No, that we don't, we don't need outside uh, sources of encouragement. Uh, we can we can come to the Word of God and trust in the Spirit of God, yes. and we can experience uh, God's encouragement, His consolation, uh, His uh, His uh, great depths of affection toward Amen. us, and we can share it with one another. Yes, because in in, in His Word and His Spirit, it, 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 there's life. That's good. Yeah, there's that's life. life. That's there's good. There's life. Mm -hmm. There's refreshing. Yes, yes. There's water. That's right. Everything that we need. Mm -hmm. Everything that we need is there. There. That's right. Yes. That's right. It's in the word and it's in God's spirit. Yes. Amen. And they are one. Yes. You can't separate one from the other. Amen. Amen. So Paul is encouraging us to have the same mind. Mm -hmm. Paul is encouraging us to have the same yes. mind. Yes. And I believe this is to be the mind of Christ. Absolutely. The yes. same mind is the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. Every born again believer must yield to the to uh, the reality that God has given us the mind of Christ. Yes. So he can communicate with, yes. with, with, uh, with us. Amen. Yes. And yes. we can communicate with one another on the same level. Amen. We can think the same. I know, you know, we this and that, but you, we should be able to, to think the same according to the word of God. Yes, yes. Think the same according to the word of God. Think the same. We see it the same way. There's no division in our uh, uh, understanding uh, uh, the word of God. Mm -hmm. So the mind of Christ that empowers us to love each other in the spirit of Christ. And this is what we do it at. We love one another in the spirit of Christ. Yes. We can't love one another outside of this, uh, yielding to the spirit of Christ that is in us. Not with the God kind of that's, love. That's right. Not with the God Not kind of love. Not with the God love. kind no, of love. No, no, so, yeah. so we want you to really uh, be encouraged, amen, to be a strengthened, amen, uh, as we uh, go on in these uh, teachings about the mind of Christ and begin to uh, go to the word of God to, to, get your, get, to get out, to get your thinking established that you have been given the mind of Christ. So you can start thinking like God yes. because the word of God holds the, the thoughts of God. Yes. They hold the thoughts of Christ. So as you meditate upon God's word, that's what you're doing. You're absorbing and you're coming to the reality that you are getting the mind of Christ. You're starting to think like God. Amen. Starting to think like him. Your father. Your father. Your, like your father. Your father. That's Amen. it. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless God. You want to pray? Father, we thank just you, thank Father. you for your word. Hallelujah. We thank you for the life that is in mm. your word. Yes. That as we hear your word, mm. as the Holy Spirit teaches your, yes. us your word, yes. we receive your life. Your life. We receive your water in and your refreshing. In abundance. We thank you for the spirit who is mm in us to empower us to walk Hallelujah. according to all that we have been taught to give us understanding that we have been given mm. the mind, mind of Christ, Christ. Lord, we don't have to live in confusion mm. we don't have to be double minded mm. schizophrenic we don't have to be oppressed by yes, the enemy Father. we do not have to allow depression mm. to overtake yes, us our minds we have free. the mind of Christ our, our mind free. is full of faith mm. Lord, God. It's full of yes, faith. Yes, yes. Our mind is strong mm, in the Lord. Yes, it is. Thank yes, you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your word. Yes. Thank you for, for your, your spirit. spirit. And thank you for the salvation that Ooh, we have received through the precious blood of Jesus. Yes. Just thank you, right Father, there, right for your grace that is right poured out on Father. us thank in you. abundance. Thank you. You tell Your him. blessing, yeah, Father you tell God. Him. Thank you. Your blessing, yes. Father God. Yes. And 
We thank you for it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, bless God. Well, we're excited about what God is doing here at Dominion Life Worship Amen. Center and Faith in Christ Network, yes. and we're excited about what he's doing in your life. Yes. Amen. Yes. It means a lot to us to see mm -hmm. people are yielding to the word of God and allowing the word of God to transform them, their thinking, their attitudes, their way of living, their Amen. lifestyle. Amen. Just, just let God do what God deeply desires to yes. do in your life. Yes. And that is to transform you into the image and likeness of his faithful son. Hallelujah. His loving son, yes. Jesus yes. Christ. Amen. There's nobody like Jesus. There's nobody like him. Amen. So we'll see you next time here at Dominion Life Worship Center and Faith in Christ Network. And we just want to encourage you to, to come out and be with us on Sunday morning. Amen. Yes, yes. Uh, you can get a good, rich, powerful word of God. We've got three services, uh, teaching services here uh, at Dominion Life Worship Center on Sunday morning. It starts at, one, it starts at 9 o'clock. Then we have one at 10 o'clock. And then we have one at 11, uh, uh, 15. So I want you to come out and be a part of these uh, exciting uh, services, Amen. these teaching services. Amen. Uh, uh, you'll be, you be uh, Im impacted by uh, my lovely wife. Uh, she'll be teaching the uh, uh, spiritual foundational class. And then also we have Dr. Brooks. He'll be teaching about the uh, uh, min ministry development uh, uh, training uh, class, how to uh, connect yourself uh, with uh, the, connect, get, get yourself connected within the body of Christ and operate uh, by the Spirit of God. Amen. So, uh, we want to encourage you to do that, amen. You don't want to miss any of these uh, uh, power pack teaching. So we'll see you next time here at Dominion Life Worship Center. And I always remember, we love you. We're praying for you. Yeah. And send in your comments. Send in your prayer requests. That's what we're here for. We're here to pray the prayer of faith with you. We enjoy praying for you, amen, because we enjoy seeing what God, how God works through prayer, how he faithfully works through prayer. As we say here all the time at Dominion Life Worship Center, Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless God.